Hello, beautiful world. Do you have so many passwords that it's hard to remember or else you're just using the same password over and over and over and kind of defeating the purpose of having, you know, passwords and good security online? Well, there's lots of tools that can help you. And just to give you an example and to walk you through um, what these tools can offer, I'm going to have a look at sticky passwords. Now you may already be familiar with them, you may be familiar with some of the other tools, uh, that's okay, there's lots of them out there, but just for demonstration purposes of what these tools actually do, I'm just going to focus on sticky password um, today. If you like this kind of stuff, if you're looking for software to make your life easier, uh, hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment your suggestions because I just want to get better and better and better. Um, I'm learning and so I appreciate all your support and help. Now let's have a look at sticky passwords. Alright, so this is their homepage of sticky password. We go down here we will see it remembers our login details it automatically fills out forms it generates strong passwords for us it can keep our credit card his, um, numbers safe for online shopping if we can have private text so we can keep a notepad in sticky password that's encrypted we can share our logins and passwords with other people um, other accounts that use sticky passwords. So say if you're having um, other people in your business doing different tasks and you need to share each other's logins for different applications, uh, you can do that within sticky pass. It encrypts and syncs across your devices. You can work across different browsers and devices. It's supportive of Android, iPhones, you know, Windows, Mac, um, and like I said, different browsers, so Chrome, Firefox, Safari, etc. And it encrypts all our information. And it says even works on USB and memory cards. So it has a little portable password manager so we can encrypt data that's on computers that aren't even ours and with every premium license solved it, they put some money towards the endangered manatees so kudos for that they're celebrating their 20 year anniversary so congratulations sticky password for that let's have a look in so this is sticky password down here in my windows 10 um, down on the bottom right uh, near my date so if I open up that it locks the screen so if you walk away from your screen it automatically locks itself so you have to come in and put in the master password this is a safety precaution if you leave your computer open and someone else comes it will not automatically allow them to sign into all your stuff without entering this password so we can show the password if we want to and we can use a virtual keyboard as well which is an added security factor if there's some if there is a key logging program on your computer or anything like that we can click their anti-spy and we can then so that people can't see what we're doing and we can see where our mouse is so that's pretty cool i don't know if you know which one mine is i know which one mine is as long as i keep it all protected you don't know which one it is hopefully but you get the point pretty cool right, I'm not going to use that and I don't really want to show use all my password just yet um, I'll just backspace that I'll put in some numbers and we can test that there you go it works good so I will put in my master password no peeking and unlock that there we go, and so I can share my items with any other users. 
I have a memo, so my private life stuff I can put into here. I can add groups, I can add memos in there. It keeps track of bookmarks on my browsers, so I can go in and open and have uh, my bookmark directory all safe in sticky passwords. It has different identities that I can use, so I can go through and uh, fill out forms easier um, by having different identities. Say I have a work identity, identity I have a shopping private identity, um, and another writer's alias identity. Whatever it is, I can go in and edit and change them over. And if we click on the edit, it is just, it will give us information um, that we can just go through and change one by one. Um, you know, go through and edit um, nice and easy. Okay, so then it's got apps. So if we've got different applications, uh, it can remember that too. So software that we have on our computer that requires a password, e.g. Skype is here, and we can just add in another app and put in the login details and it will remember it for us. Web accounts, so here's all web accounts that I have used in here, so it will remember it for me. If you have multiple ones, it will remember that I have multiple ones. It can launch uh, from within here, and I can launch my two different accounts, and I can edit that as well. Um, I got quick access, so ones that I have used recently, it can just go straight into. Um, and then a security dashboard that says, you know, how well I'm doing. I'm doing horribly well. I need to improve uh, my passwords and not have so many reused. Guilty. I need to fix up my weak ones. And this is what Sticky Password is going to help me with. And so that is the use case for it. So when I close that, I have it up on my browser as an add-on. So here we go through, and it is basically the same type of thing. We got an extra um, tool here, which is the password generator. And so if I was to go into the site, go into my.stickypassword, for example, I would have to put in my password. That's what Sticky just put up. That is correct. That is my Sticky password. And then I would have to uh, put in my master password. And if my browser is not registered, they'll give me a one-time pin that they'll send me to my email. And they will allow me to name it. Um, and then I can log into this Okay, so for example, I am here on my uh, Groove login and I can just click on sticky passwords and I can log in, log in as, and it will come up and then I can just use it to log in. So pretty simple, pretty useful. Um, and that is what a password manager does for you. So thanks for watching. That's just a simple breakdown of what a password manager is and how it might benefit you with what you're doing. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful blessed time. Enjoy.